once you have a set of data, you will need to organize it so that you can analyze how frequently each datum occurs in the set. However, when calculating the frequency, you may need to round your answers so that they are as precise as possible. The way a set of data is measured is called its level of measurement. Correct statistical procedures depend on a researcher being familiar with levels of measurement. Not every statistical operations can be used with every set of data. Data can be classified into four levels of measurement. They are nominal scale level, ordinal scale level, interval scale level, and ratio scale level. Data is measured using nominal scale is qualitative or categorical. Categories, colors, names, labels, and favorite foods along with yes or no responses are examples of nominal level data. Nominal scale data are not ordered. For example, trying to classify people according to their favorite food does not make any sense. Putting pizza first and sushi second is not meaningful. The smartphone companies are another example of nominal scale data. The data are the names of the companies that make smartphones, but there is no agreed upon order of these brands, even though people may have personal preferences. Nominal scale data cannot be used in calculations. Data that is measured using an ordinal scale is similar to nominal scale data, but there is a big difference. The ordinal scale data can be ordered. An example of ordinal scale data is a list of the top five national parks in the United States. The top five national parks in the United States can be ranked from one to five, but we cannot measure differences between the data. Another example of using ordinal scale is a cruise survey, where the responses to questions about the cruise are excellent, good, satisfactory, and unsatisfactory. These responses are ordered from the most desired response to the least desired, but the differences between two pieces of data cannot be measured. Like the nominal scale data, ordinal scale data cannot be used in calculations. Data that is measured using the interval scale is similar to ordinal level data because it has definite ordering, but there is a difference between data. The differences between interval scale data can be measured through the data does not have a starting point. Temperature scales like Celsius and Fahrenheit are measured by using the interval scale. In both temperature measurements, 40 degrees is equal to 100 degrees minus 60 degrees. Differences make sense, but zero degrees does not because in both scales, zero is not the absolute lowest temperature. Temperatures like negative 10 degrees Fahrenheit and negative 15 degrees Celsius exist and are colder than zero. Interval level data can be used in calculations, but one type of comparison cannot be done. 80 degrees Celsius is not four times as hot as 20 degrees Celsius, nor is 80 degrees Fahrenheit four times as hot as 20 degrees Fahrenheit. There is no meaning to the ratio of 80 to 20 or 4 to 1. Data that is measured using the ratio scale takes care of the ratio problem and gives you the most information. Ratio scale data is like interval scale data, but it has a zero point and ratios can be calculated. For example, four multiple choices statistics, final scores are 80, 68, 20, and 92 out of possible 100 points. The exams are machine graded. The data 
can be put in order from lowest to highest, such as 20, 68, 80, and 92. The differences between the data have been meaning. The score 92 is more than the score 68 by 24 points. Ratios can be calculated. The smallest score is zero, so 80 is four times 20. The score of 80 is four times better than the score of 20.